Okay, welcome uh, to uh, the JPAC meeting, the Joint Public Advisory Council for the Commission for Environmental Cooperation. My name is Glenn Wright, and I'm the chairman of JPAC for this year. And I'm a member of the Canadian delegation. JPAC is part of the Commission of Environmental Cooperation. There are three parts to the Commission. Uh, the Secretariat, which is located in Montreal, and we'll be hearing shortly from the Executive Director of the Secretariat. The Council is made up of the three senior environmental people from each of Mexico, Canada, and the United States. During the, the Public Advisory Council is made up of five members uh, from each country and uh, they're independent of government and independent of the balance of the Commission. Our role is to uh, seek uh, public, public uh, input and to, at the end and conclusion of meetings like today's, after hearing presentations and questions, to prepare an advice for the Council and the senior uh, ministers in the respective governments. So we're pleased to have you here today. We are webcasting the proceedings today. So we have a larger audience, uh, we hope, are taking part. The entire um, proceedings are uh, fully translated in three languages, French, English, and Spanish. Uh, that includes the web as well as uh, here in the room. So if you uh, have your uh, headsets, the uh, French will be on channel one, Spanish on channel two, and English on channel three. So again, welcome, and uh, as we go forward today, we have, uh, we think, a, a good session. In the morning, we'll be, uh, first, uh, the morning we'll be discussing policy development in the three countries, and specifically, we chose to look at the energy sector as we discuss uh, policy. The problem of coordinating policy between the three countries raises issues around trade and has other impact, as well as in the environmental front, when we have um, differing opinions and different types of policy in different countries. To examine that issue, we, we have, uh, we'll be starting the day with a, an overview of the electricity sector in North America. We'll then be having some discussion around policy development around electricity. And the second part of the morning will be a specific discussion around uh, the policies of um, renewable energy portfolios and an example of that is California's renewable energy portfolio and some of the decisions that are made there and how that impacts uh, outside of their jurisdiction, such as uh, hydroelectricity projects uh, developed in British Columbia, which are in excess of uh, 30 megawatts production. So we hope to go from a general discussion to some very specific aspects of policy how it impacts when uh, the views in the two, three countries are not necessarily uh, coordinated. And uh, over the course of the day in the afternoon, we'll be discussing carbon capture and storage and an update on what uh, progress is being made in those technologies. At the end of the session, uh, the Advisory Council will be meeting to prepare what's called an advice, and we will be submitting that uh, to the council members uh, in each country for their consideration. Now, I would like to, uh, to uh, look to my colleagues on the council to uh, do uh, self-introductions, and uh, perhaps we will start uh, with Rodolfo. At the, if you could introduce yourself, a, a little background. Thank you. Eh, buenos días. Mi nombre es Rodolfo Lassi. Eh, I'm seeing that you don't have your translator uh, advice. So I, I will speak again in English. My, my name is Rodolfo Lassi. I'm, I'm uh, part of the JPAC uh, uh, Mexican uh, team. And I'm an environmental engineer. I'm working in the Mario Molina Center. It's a center uh, uh, dedicated to energy and environmental uh, problems. Good morning. I am Carlos Sandoval. I am from the JPAC from Mexico. I am civil engineer. Uh, not all the, the people like so much in the environmental sector of so the civil engineers, but we are changing in this time. And uh, we represent the, the Mexican private sector, especially for medium and small companies, try to do the environment things better. 
I'm Rafael Marquez, and I'm a member of the JPAC. I've been a member for uh, the last four years. Uh, I'm from Texas. Uh, background, I have a chemical engineering degree and about 30 years of experience working in environmental issues. Bonjour, je suis Laurent Benarousse uh, de JPAC Canada. Ça fait environ un an que je me suis joint au JPAC. Merci. Okay, Nancy. Good morning. I'm Nancy Southern. I'm the uh, President Chief Executive Officer of ATCO Limited and Canadian Utilities with uh, power generation, transmission and distribution um, throughout North America, Australia and the United Kingdom and a member of the Canadian Joint Public Advisory Committee. Thank you. Good morning. Uh, my name is Martin Gutierrez. Uh, I'm a member of the JPAC from Mexico. Uh, I'm the CEO of an uh, NGO that is called Pronatura. I'm an environmental lawyer. And it's very important that you have the translator because uh, every, uh, every part of the, of the team are, are doing in the uh, uh, mother language. So it's very important that you have the translator. Uh, Pronatura is an NGO that we have 31 offices in the country. The mission is conserve, uh, the conservate of the biodiversity. And I'm glad to be here. Uh, and welcome. Good morning. My name is uh, Dinkar Desai. I'm an environmental engineer. And I'm also a US JPEG member. Currently, I'm working with the US Army. Thank you. Kind of far from me. Uh, good morning. My name is Adriana Nelly Correa, and uh, yes, I support the idea of every everyone having a translation. And um, well, uh, I'm a faculty member of the Center for Environmental Quality of Tecnológico de Monterrey, where I am the director of the Andres Marcelo Sada Chair on Conservation and Sustainable Development. And uh, well, I'm a member of. Uh, of JPEG, uh, which is uh, a whole team, one team, uh, which represents the citizenship of, uh, of North America. Thank you. Good morning. My name is Patty McDonald, and I'm a JPEG member from the United States. I live in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. I've been a member of JPEG since 2003. And uh, I spent uh, my career basically in Washington, DC, working on natural resource policy in the US Congress and the executive branch. Buenos días. Mi nombre es Gustavo Alaniz Ortega. Soy abogado mexicano. Trabajo con el Centro Mexicano de Derecho Ambiental en la Ciudad de México. Tenemos oficinas en Cancún, en La Paz, Baja California Sur, y recientemente en Valle de Bravo, cerca de, de la Ciudad de México. Soy profesor de Derecho Ambiental de la Universidad Iberoamericana en la Ciudad de México y soy presidente del Centro Mexicano de Derecho Ambiental. Gracias. Hey. Thank you very much. The, uh, I just so everybody understands, there is a desk out by the uh, registration which has uh, uh, translation uh, earphones for you if uh, those of you who didn't see it on the way in, uh, you can uh, pick them up there. Uh, each of the sessions today will have presenters. And, uh, and at the conclusion of the presenta presentations, we will have a panel discussion and we'll invite questions from the audience here in the room and over the web. The, uh, one of our colleagues, uh, Laurent, is going to be monitoring uh, for the morning sessions the, um, the communications from the web and we'll try to get to uh, as many of those questions as we can. Uh, comments are uh, appreciated as well as questions. It's, uh, we're here to gather information and to uh, learn from our panelists as well as from our audience. Uh, our next, uh, I will call on our Executive Director of the Commission for Environmental Cooperation, Evan Lloyd, to uh, give a few remarks. Thank you. 